Well, we're 18 weeks into the Biden administration. And Jesus, please take the wheel. Last week, we left off at George Floyd Square. While some of George Floyd's family have traveled to Washington to keep hope alive, George Floyd's sister was not pleased. So my message to the president, get your people in order. Get your people in order. Many others have gathered in Minneapolis for the anniversary death of George Floyd. And although this was supposed to be a moment of remembrance and peace, other people had other plans. As per usual, there is a lot of back and forth going on in Congress. The Senate GOP has asked the House Democrats to revise Joe Biden's economic spending plans and make them more cost effective. Last week, the House Democrats counteroffered a new proposal that cut spending down from $2.3 trillion to $1.7 trillion. But the GOP still did not budge and created a counteroffer of their own, slashing the budget completely to $928 billion for infrastructure. I'm sure you guessed this didn't sit well with congressional Democrats, and many are pressuring Biden to utilize the reconciliation process to bypass the bipartisanship and get the bills passed. The reconciliation process is a legislative process for getting tax and spending bills through the Senate. Being that the Democrats and Republicans are split evenly, Vice President Kamala Harris would have the deciding tie-breaking vote. So with that being said, Democrats such as Elizabeth Warren feel as though the infrastructure counteroffer from the GOP was a sham, and the time is very near that the Democrats need to just move forward. Speaking of moving forward, after Joe Biden called Vladimir Putin a killer, Putin replied that it takes one to know one and wish Biden good health. Not too long after this exchange, hackers stemming from Russia hacked our pipeline, causing a temporary gas shortage. Biden said that he would discuss these issues with President Putin, amongst other issues, in the upcoming June 16th summit in Geneva. You've seen uh, the statement we put out this morning confirming that uh, President Biden will be meeting with President Putin in Geneva, as you said, on June 16th. Uh, the leaders will discuss the full range of pressing issues as we seek to restore predictability and stability to the U.S.-Russia relationship. But Biden is sure that the Russian government has nothing to do with it. Well, either Joe Biden is lying or either he is not taking Russia seriously. Because we are two weeks out from the meeting between Putin and Biden. And Putin said on Monday that he would send what is described as uncomfortable signals to the United States. And it is beefing up its western border military. So let's recap. Russia is sparking oil wars, hacking our pipelines, wiping out our meat markets, and is now threatening our lives. And Biden is saying, With regard to Russia, I know it concerns some of you, but I made very clear to Putin that we're not going to seek es ex excuse me, escalation. So in other words, just turn the other cheek and have a beer. Yep. That's the new incentive for getting the jab. Bush Beer Company is the next company to disguise their capitalism as compassion and said a free round of beer if you get vaccinated. That's right. Get a shot and have a beer. Oh, yes. Go fuck up your liver, but save your immune system. God, where do you have me? Anyway, to assist Biden in his efforts, to vaccinate 70% of Americans, including children 12 through 15, by the 4th of July. Biden says... Because of that, America's headed into a summer dramatically different from last year's summer. A summer of freedom, a summer of joy, a summer of get-togethers and celebrations. Biden is set to roll out his month of action vaccination tour. And guess who he assigned the Southern region to? You guessed it. Kamala Harris. The vice president will lead a natural vaccination tour to encourage vaccination in key communities across the country. So I guess that will be her next excuse as to why she hasn't been down to the border. 
because now she has to travel for COVID relief, which is funny because the reason why she hasn't been to the border is because she didn't want to travel because of COVID. What the fuck? I can't even believe with all the incentives to get the vaccines, the huge amounts of misinformation about COVID, and the political theater surrounding this pandemic, and Anthony Fauci's emails and data being exposed for him being a lying, crooked doctor, people are still trusting in the government and this administration. We all know in due time, the commercial... Attention. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. And then people are all going to want to sue, which, of course, leaves the colored community out in the cold, because while everyone else is getting their lawyers in order. But they don't have lawyers. They don't have they, they, they don't have accountants. Biden, I really do not know who is feeding you this misinformation. But not only do black people have accountants and lawyers, but black people are accountants and lawyers. Don't get it twisted.